and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking Alexander Midas. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, um, I am again a bit delayed. I am just in the motion now catching up. As you can see, I've released a ton of videos lately, about 14. So, to unlock uh, Alexander Midas, which they added a patch ago, uh, you need to come to here, 2119 in the Dravanian Hinterlands, and you need to talk to Round Rocks. And this assumes as well that you finished the entire first Alexander um, in the expansion. So you have to have finished the quest Burden of the Father and also the quest after it in order to unlock this one. But anyway, the quest is called Rearmed. The Round Rock seeks a loyal friend to entrust with an important task. So Round Rock thinks long and hard on what to do with Precious Glowstone. It is most favorite treasure of round rocks but glowstone is also what Mide seeks all this time and has already brought round rocks three whole years of joy the round rocks decides to give it to Mide so she can be happy too but now round rocks entrust treasure to uplander to give to Mide at next meeting even meanest gobbies dare not to try to take glowstone from mighty uplander okay so we're taking the glowstone from him so, Roundrox does not know where Mide is now, but she often gazes out on giant whirly cogs from Broken Water Cross. Maybe Uplander finds her there. Okay, so we need to go to here, just to the west. Get it done. So, as we always say, better late than never. And as well, one motivation to do the second Alexander if nothing else, if you're not interested in savages, you just gear up alt classes. So, and they've removed the gear limit from the normal mod, so you can just farm as much as you like. So, like in my case, for example, I'm going to be using it to gear up my black mage and summoner. So, uh, from afar, the that mass of steel has a certain majesty, does it not? But something tells me you didn't come here to share the view. What is it? So Round Rocks means to give me the Codex Fragment. I couldn't possibly accept. She values that stone over the rest of her treasures combined. So, and yeah, it may be safer in the hands of one more capable of defending it. Safer for all concerned. God knows the Illuminati shall stop at nothing to get it. Very well. If she feels I should have it, I will hold it in safekeeping for her. Okay, so let's hand over the Enigma Codex Fragment. There's an important section broken from Round Rocks's prized treasure and entrusted to none other than you. Okay, cutscene. So, alas, if it is of no more use to me than any other rock. So, you doubtless recall the moment when Round Rocks first revealed that Codex Fragment to us, yes? When she took the stone in her hands, a piece of the Enigma Codex burst forth unbidden uh, in a brilliant flash of light. Yet it has been handled many times by others, yourself included, without ever betraying a hint of the secret contained within. Did you not find that strange? I myself was surprised, albeit for a different reason. The Codex is protected by an arcane mechanism, you see. Only those who share its fundamental principles are able to view its contents. It is rare indeed to find an individual with the qualities required to read it. That that Round Rock possesses such qualities um, is unexpected, an unexpected blessing. To be sure, uh, to be sure. But if the Illuminati were to learn of her secret, she would be placed in grave danger. Even as we speak, they scoured the hinterlands in search of their elusive missing piece. But as far as I know, they still view our f uh, friend as a mere collector of misplaced items. So, but for her sake, we must do our utmost to draw their attention away from the Big West shortstop before they take it in their hands to return. But it is for that reason that I mean to leave this place. When the Illuminati learn that I have the fragment, it is my hope that they will focus their efforts on ascertaining my whereabouts. Needless to say that I may not return to Big West Shortstop for some time. While I'm gone, I would ask that you watch over Round Rocks 
uh, see that she does not come to harm. Okay? So, you are my thanks, adventurer. Wow, she talks a lot. So I wonder how this leads into Midas, basically. So, as I thought, I am no longer worthy. Okay. He's like, Mifri's like, huh? Oh, hello. So, Bactric says, uh, Wedge searches for Uplander with much urgency. Uplander must return to Big West Shortstop at once. Oakley dokley. So, uh, Oh, that's... I don't know how goblins are supposed to pronounce that, but I don't know. Anyway, so let's return. Let's see what this is about. And I do record all these quests in the story f for the sake of enjoying it. Like, I don't... I enjoy it, so... Anyway, so here's Wedge. So let's see what Wedge has to say. So there you are, Mifri. Not a moment too soon. The Illuminati are getting ready for something big. Yashola reports that Alexander has started drawing massive amounts of Aether from the surrounding land, which can only mean one thing. The Illuminati has resumed their attempts to revive it. But what's more, Beatrix reports that the goblins are amassing substantial quantities of explosives and supplies, uh, but all indications that they're building another weapon, um, in short, is bad. But it's nothing a, a bit of strategic thinking can't fix. They say he who strikes first strikes last, and that's exactly what I intend to do. I devised a plan which should allow us to take the Illuminati unawares, and I'd like you to spearhead the assault. Our rendezvous point is to the south, on the cliffs overlooking the uh, Falyak. Biggs has gone ahead to scout the area. We should await your arrival there. Yep, okay, so let's speak to Biggs. So, if you haven't played other Final Fantasy games, uh, Biggs and Wedge are reoccurring characters. Not every Final Fantasy game has got them, but most do. And I'm sure that they'll keep the tradition going from now on. And also, like, there's been a Sid in every Final Fantasy as well. Uh, Mifri, good to see you. I take it that Wedge told you the situation. You ready to hit the Illuminati where it hurts? Uh, yeah, sure. So, that's what I like to hear. The Chief will be here soon, and then we can get things underway. Hmm. Okay, there's your Stola. I haven't seen her for a while. And Sid as well. The bloody hells, it ain't your stola. If it ain't your stola, and no one told me you were coming. Um, and a very disturbance of this scale demands my personal attention. Judging by the marked fall in ambient aether concentrations, the situation is far graver than previously assumed. And you are certain that steel monstrosity is to blame? And around it is quite pretty. Oh, Alexander's doing something. So I could see no other explanation. The giant's innards are well nigh saturated with Aeth already. Yeah, I sense something else. An irregular energy coming from within the barrier. So, be that as it may, I'm afraid we have more pressing concerns. The Illuminati are up to something. And we mean to hit them before they can put whatever it is they're planning into action. So, to which end, allow me to introduce the newest and perhaps the most astounding invention. The Electro Jammer 3. First of its kind. I was really proud of himself, wasn't he?
Yeah, no one cares. So I was speechless with ast astonishment, I see. Um, as well you should be. The high frequency waves em emitted by this device will interfere with any and all enemy communications, making it impossible for them to coordinate an effective defense. With it working in our favor, victory is all but assured. I see. So assuming I have understood correctly, you need only to activate the Electro Jammer of yours and the Illuminati will be plunged into disarray, affording Mithri and her friends ample opportunity to take them unawares. Very well, proceed. Let's press the button, get this started. So, Wedge, is this supposed to happen? Rip. Well, he's smiling, so I guess it did the job. Oh, bloody hells. Does he open some side entrance into this place? Or is Alexander going to stand up even more? Oops. Managed to break through that shield. Okay, now his second foot is out. That makes me wonder if when the third part of Alexander comes out, if he will basically just stand up completely and we have to just defeat the actual... Like, the whole thing. Like, the whole primal, not just, like, random bosses on the inside. Second entrance is open. I mean, for now, he's got red eyes. Maybe when we defeat all the evil from the inside, they'll turn blue or something. So, you've waken it up. So, nay, only the left arm stirs. Could the waves emitted by your device have disturbed something within the barrier wedge? It's not my fault. Though not to worry, Wedge. With the Illuminati hard at work reviving the giant, it was only a matter of time before parts of it started springing to life. Uh, you just gave this one a little extra nudge. On a brighter note, it would seem you've saved us the trouble of finding another way in. So, Mithri, old friend, it is time your for your customary heroics. The Illuminati are likely still scrambling to work out what just happened. Before they do, I suggest you hop across the river and show them what's for. Nice. So, I must needs discuss these developments with Master Matoya. Sid, would you be so good as to accompany me? Your insight may well prove useful. That random waterfall that you see in the distance, you can actually uh, fish from there. In case you didn't know. Anyway. Oh, well there's the Illuminati. And a black cat as well. So, another core stirs to life. The future unfolds exactly as expected, exactly as written. Cool. So now we need to speak with... Lightstick iFix. I guess that's just going to be to finally unlock the second part. Okay. Let's talk. So, Uplander feels shivery shakes. Armor Steel Giants is wide open and no Illuminati in sight. So, the fifths of the sun is now acceptable. 
Don't Sky Sea has also been updated. So you now have access to Fist of the Sun. Midas can be accessed via the entrance at the Far Lake River. Ooh, that's it. So I guess the next step will be to clear this dungeon. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mithri.